There are some cool tricks for working with a bunch of sessions once you've created them. So to kind of demonstrate, let's create a bunch of sessions. Create a new PS session. And I'm just going to have this connected to two different computers. So I actually have two session objects that are going to be created and stored in the variable sessions. If I look in there, I can see that that's where they are. I can also just run get PS session and get that same list. So even though I've stored these in a variable, PowerShell still maintains sort of a master list of all the sessions that it has uh, and their state. So these are opened and they're ready to use. Now one way to use these would just be to pass them to invoke a command. I can say invoke a command, give it a script block with just a simple command. Instead of giving it computer names, I'm going to give it these sessions. And that will run that command on both of those computers. But sometimes when you've got a bunch of sessions defined, you only want to use one of them. And a way to do that is to say get PS session and specify the computer name of the session I want. So I just want to do, let's say, a one-to-one -one shell session with just a single computer and its server R2. I could just do enter PS session and provide the server R2 computer name, but that would create a new session to server R2. Since I already have an open session, why not just use that? So we'll say enter PS session, instead of providing a computer name, we'll give it a session. And in parentheses, I'm going to actually get the session that I want to use, server-r2. So this will retrieve the session that is already open, pass it to here, telling enter PS session to create an interactive shell over that existing connection. And in just a second, my prompt should come up. I can run whatever commands I need to run on that remote computer, exit PS session when I'm done, and I'm back local but that session is still up and running. So I can still use it for other things. Really useful trick, especially if you have a profile script that's opening a bunch of sessions every time you open the shell to, say, computers that you frequently need to manage.